Hello there, this is part 5 of our tutorial series and uh, this is what we have so far. We're trying to improve on our tower simulation here. Right now it looks good enough but uh, if you want to give it that more realistic look uh, we can still do a, a little bit more here. So the problem with our tower simulation right now is that uh, every brick is behaving as a single brick uh, but uh, what usually happen in this tower simulation or oh, sorry in these towers falling down is that uh, you would have a portion say something like this let me change my 3d cursor my pivot point falling falling apart like this this portion a bunch of bricks like this will fall up will fall as a one piece and maybe another piece here would fall like that instead of just single bricks like that so that's what we're going to be doing so to achieve that uh, we are going to create our rigid body constraints and uh, to introduce you to be rigid bodies constraints i'm not going to use this project here let's just create a new project which here uh, which might be a little bit simple so we can add a plane yes this is going to act as our ground go to object rigid body uh, passive or we'll also add a cube and then a circle so what usually keeps these bricks uh, together is uh, mortar uh, or a mixture of cement and uh, sand so you can go on and add that if you want but uh, it would take a lot of time for you to do but uh, so instead of just adding real sand in, uh, in the scene uh, which would be which would complicate things even further uh, we can just use constraints or just add just connect these different individual uh, bricks into one piece of brick or one portion like this uh, with constraints and that the way you do that if you select two objects uh, that are rigid bodies let me first play back here so you can see that uh, give this a rigid body and this is a rigid body you can see that uh, when I when they fall down when I hit play they all fall as individual objects but uh, if I select one of the rigid bodies uh, you can see we have another button here uh, called rigid body constraints and I click on that uh, if I scroll down you can see we have an option here uh, you can weld uh, the two objects so that they can act as a single object by adding a rigid body constraint to them so if I select this as the first object to be welded welded to this object and I play back you can see now they're acting as a single object it doesn't matter how much separation dis distance they have they will always act as a single object like that uh, so and uh, you can even have three or four or five more objects you just have to yes, so now this this entire system is behaving as a single object and we want to have that behavior for a lot of our, for our bricks so you can go on and start adding a rigid body constraint and start connecting them manually like that but that would take a lot will take you a lot of time and i won't get it right anyways so uh, the easiest way to do this is by selecting all the bricks you have and make sure you always have an, an active brick and then go under object rigid bodies and uh, under active and passive you'll see other options and uh, what you want to do is add a connect you just want to click connect uh, so that these can be connected into a single object yes give the give this a moment uh, because we have a lot of objects uh, they need to connect each brick uh, to the to its closest uh, brick so that might take a few seconds for it to work it has it's not the the blender is still working in the background but uh, it will show that uh, it's not responding uh, don't close it just yet uh, because it's, it's still active and uh, processing everything in the background so just give it a few seconds and uh, yeah I think we can start from there in the next part as this has gone on uh, for six minutes already so yeah I'll come back after this is connected in uh, part Seven, thank you. 